talking of district number 10. Welcome to this interview. So this is just a startup. It's not any here. Everywhere they got tenure position will have to be protected under the law. Let the people use the law to take the people out. We just, we just say to, uh, to, to the madam, that if the police cannot provide security for her, we will provide security for her. In any way, don't ask me how. In any way, she'll be provided security. We change government not for the wrong thing to happen. If we bring government for the wrong thing to happen, then we have to protect our people. We are lawmaker. I'm a lawmaker of the Republic of, the Republic of Liberia, not only district number 10. So we want to send this as a caveat to this president. Mr. President, please use the law. Yourself have gone against the code of conduct. You should, you should remember that. Remember yourself have violated the law. So when you're running after people that have violated the law, you should look at your back too. We will also use the law to bring you to check. We will be going from place to place to reassure the people that the law will be the law. We didn't come here because we have interest in the place alone. We will go to the central bank, we'll go to the LTA, we'll go to everywhere they got they, 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 they got tenure positions to reassure, to reassure, to, 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 to give them the assurance that when the law grab you, the law grab you. But beside the law, there'll be no jungle justice. We see as a wish on if Joseph Baka got a relative to implore, he must bring them to the executive mansion and implore them not to be threatening people that got that intended position. And let, him, let, let, let me say this to him. Let him tell his, uh, uh, his legal advisor to start speaking loosely because tomorrow the Minister of State will have to tell the horse why he has somebody that is speaking loosely and threatening the, the, the peace of this country. We will not entertain that. Let me say this. Are you protecting those that are in violation of the code of conduct? No, we are not protecting people that are in violation. Use the law. Like... Use the law. If the, if the, if the law, if, if they are being investigated by law, and if they are found guilty, they can go. Not to just come to a jungle justice thing. Joseph Bagasa has been 45 years in government. Is this a 45 years? What did he lay on an alien? He just proving to all that he didn't learn nothing. He's sitting here and people are employing their family people that we should be talking about. And those are things that we spoke against. Why today is happening? Joseph Baga employing your family pool. Jeremiah will employ your family pool. Is this the government we brought? What's the change? What's the change? But bringing one old man a four year older than him. How Joseph Baga being a nine then he bring one, I mean, a nine year old man to come work. What is he going to prove in the, in the, in the, in the setup? No, we did not bring government for this. We brought government for change. And the change must come. So you people that are saying, I'm talking soon, you all tell Joseph Walker and Jeremiah Kundu to stop employing their family people. Then I will stop talking. Until then, we are for the people. Hon I'm not for Honorable individual Koluma, or I political party. Are you joining the protest to impeach the president? N no, my man, it's a process. If the, if the president will have to use a code of conduct right now, that speak about uh, 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 how much uh, 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 elected official she take, and when she he declare and all the kind of thing there. So if you use the code of conduct, then we'll also respect the code of conduct to use it against anybody that going against it. And if you ask me, if the president are going against it, we will champion the cause for him to go. He could be the shorter law, uh, uh, serving president and of this place. country. There, there is plan for everything to make the country okay. There is plan to impeach Joseph Walker. There is plan to, to move people that have violated the tenure, the, the tenure laws. The, the tenure laws say they must be removed for a cause. Okay. Now for Benji, Buju Ben Keita, want to Jomo Johnson. Where were no people? Where were they? They couldn't talk. We brought that thing for cheap. Then we see gangster then coming here. Buju Ben Keita is a gangster. And we're not entertain that in this country. If anybody think I will sit and look at the government abroad to harass people in the country, waste your time. If they bring people here to protest, I will put people in my buses, they will come there, will protect people. It can be to L L LTA, it can be to Central Bank, we'll protect the people. Use the law and let the law be the 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 the, 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 the law of the day. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Honorable yeah, friend Sakoko, welcome to the media. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You, are co you are sponsoring a bill to impeach the president. Why are you doing such? Yeah, my communication will be on the floor, hopefully on Tuesday or Thursday, we're going to impeach President Bwaka. Why? President Bwaka has convinced us in one month that he cannot steer the affairs of this country. So uh, we are already uh, working with our lawyers. Uh, as soon as possible today, we're going to be working on that all day. Hopefully tomorrow it should be on, on the floor. If not there tomorrow, uh, the impeachment of the president will be on the floor on Thursday by God's grace. So we're going to make sure that we impeach President Bwaka. President Bwaka has shown to us in one month that he cannot manage this country. See what has happened two times. The president has now represented Liberia or Liberia. We have our other African presidents now who just went over the weekend. We have a serious issue around the region that is going on. And presidents have gone to make decisions 
about our region. Our president is not there again. A few days ago, the president also sent the foreign affairs minister to go and represent Liberia. What is happening? Uh, in uh, 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 Armed Forces Day, the president could not go to, I mean, to have this program. There are a lot of things happening. There are a lot of breach of issues. They are breaking the law in just many places, just making a lot of funny appointments. The president just made an open statement that they should generally audit the GS, I mean, uh, the Central Bank of Liberia. Yes, it is good. By law, they should audit the Central Bank of Liberia. But is it a prerogative of the president? to give instruction for them to audit. You know what the Central Bank of Liberia come, come with? There are a lot of different accounts, private accounts within the Central Bank of Liberia. How one morning, one president just wake up, uh, he just happy one morning, uh, probably, I don't know what happened, or why he's overly excited about, like, like he did not expect to become a president. Now that he has become a president, he's kind of confused and overly happy over the presidency. So what I think the president can do is to relax himself, He's overly doing things, which is wrong. Let's look at the port of Bikiano. How can you appoint somebody into a civil servant position? I, I, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not still figuring it out. Okay, how now uh, uh, the, the, the uh, managerial position at Rofon? No president should appoint by law. No president should appoint anybody at Rofon. If you are not satisfied with the person who works there, the woman has uh, five years. She has just served for six months. And you just come as a president overnight, and you just say you appointed somebody. Is this the kind of change we spoke about? Is this his rescue? He came to rescue Liberia. The president was just in a private jet. He went on ceremoniously to Ghana of recent. Why did he go there? The Ghanaian president had to latch on him and carry his complaint. Why did he go to do Ghana? Nobody knows. And you know, for me, I don't like to speak on the issue of illness because anybody can get sick. But if the president is not well, he should do the honorable thing to go and seek medication. A vice president will govern the country until he returns. And there are just a lot of different things happening. And we think President like of recent, the legal advisor to the president's office admitted on OKFM, I mean through a press briefing, that he actually called he called uh, those legal people at the justice system seeking them to withdraw the case or cancel the case to terminate the case i mean that was wrong which case the case of judy andy ambassador judy andy that was wrong according to our constitution no branch should interfere with another branch work why are they abusing power and i can assure president Barker, i can assure him oh man trust me we're going to work with you we respect you but one thing we'll never accept from you we'll never accept you to disrespect our constitution talking about impeachment yeah, we are impeaching the president. There are on many counts. So we have those counts. Well, you're going to work with the president when you're going to impeach him. I'm working with him if he agrees to work in, conf in conformity with the law. But if Bagger goes against the law, trust me, and he has proven to us on many other counts. So I'm doing the communications. My man, I just listed the count. My man, you're not feeling my. Yeah, but, 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 but here is a at the early stage, you believe that Bagger is feeling the law. Uh, there is no other time to to uh, speak to any government if they do wrong. In the early stage, if they do well, we celebrate them. But how In the early stage, my man, I don't want you talking about being early. Yeah, President Boaka served as vice president for 12 years. How can you tell me that President Boaka is learning? Everything that was done in the country was being criticized on ground that they had all the expertise. How can this boy have, or, or is it intentional? Is it that what President Boaka knows and he's, he's doing something different? President Boaka spoke about draw test. The draw test is a bluff. I'm not going to no draw test. Because it's a bluff. If Boaka wants a justice, Boaka's son has a ghetto red by Boaka horse. Let Boaka put his son, put all his children in line, including his wife, yep. and all his ministers, let them go to conduct drug tests. that you do not support the fight against drugs? I support the fight against drug tests, against drugs, but I do not support the drama that President Boaka spoke about. It's dramatic. To do that, you must lead by example. Who are they testing? Who are those people that are doing the testing? You should establish an independent body to conduct drug tax. We have to put money in the budget to make sure we support them. Okay? So all that thing a joke. You talk about asset declaration. Eh? Boga go declare asset, you make it all a secret. Uh, should the president uh, declaration on asset be your secret? That should not be your secret. That's a mere bluff. You see, we should stop joking with the Labyrinth people. And today, some of us speaking on these things, some people may believe that because Foko is an opposition, He's in the CDC, and what he's saying about, I'm not speaking for CDC. I am speaking for the Liberian people. If we sit here and allow this old president to come and tap up, I even say, I'm the Liberian person, I have money back. Okay.
Set a young man from power, you go bring not a young man power. Yeah, yeah, you're so cool. Man, you know, we respect your decision and we will work with you. So just describe the leadership. Just describe president, president, president Baga leadership is very poor. He has performed desperately. He scored zero. But he he has not even scored one. He just went in little over a month. No, but a uh, little over a month. What we grading for? We're not grading him for six years. We're grading him for what he has done. But for what he has done, for one more is zero. Do you care to tell your visit here, the outcome of the visit here? Oh, yeah, we came to, as a chairman on Marita and some of my members on the committee, there are other stuff we've been hearing around, most especially when it comes to the day-to-day -day activity. Mm. And we came to know how her job, you know, we wrote her last week. And she told us she was going to be available today. And today we are here. And that, that's my oversight. That's my job. I'm just thinking about those people who are saying you're playing against President Boga is attack on natives. That's it. Yeah, it's one matter when definitely not appreciate me today. But I know that they will appreciate me tomorrow. Because what I'm doing, I'm not doing it for the Focus family. I'm not just doing it for only the people of District Number 9, but I'm doing it for the people of Liberia. I know today you may criticize me because you love Bwaka, but tomorrow you will celebrate me. But I'm telling you, everything President Bwaka has done initially in one month has been mere bluff. He may not because be happy, of that, Listen to you now, he may not be you. happy. No, but President Bwaka is a kissy yeah, man, a kissy man. You. It's not about your happiness. It's about the Liberian people's happiness. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank God bless you so much. Thank you. That was the voice of District 9 lawmaker, Honorable Frank Safoko, here at the National Fair Trade Agricultural Authority. We ask the pay visit to the executive director man Emil Glasgow uh, to ascertain what the actual uh, uh, issue here at NAFA there have been an uh, internal wrangling between uh, Stavos and that of the head of this authority. Thank you so much. This is Tony Labrador Television. My name is Achieve One.